Longing for a vacation you just can't seem to schedule? A little bit of relief after a long, stressful day at work? Kids, pets, schedules, life driving you crazy? Add a little soothing seascape style into your home by exploring coastal interior design. Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Lindsay and we like to talk design around here. I'm a second grade teacher, a little obsessed with interior design, so I have to let all of that out here with you. And I hope you get a little bit of fun, maybe a little bit of inspiration and try something new in your home. I've got my highlighters and my sticky notes so you know I mean business. Today we're diving back into interior design styles with coastal interior design. Before we get into it, I wanted to remind you I created a series of design guides with Retrieve. If you are looking to create a home you truly love this summer, these are the guides for you. I created three guides packed with my best tips for beginners, including how to find and fix interior design mistakes, how to find your design style, and how to create the home of your dreams on any budget. Check out my design guides using the link in the description box down below. Now on with the show. First, as we always start, what is coastal style? Of course, the word coastal brings forth lots of ideas of oceanside, vacation rentals. Coastal style is the reflection of seaside elements like water, wind, sand, sun, surf, uh, salty air, all in the home through color and texture. Coastal style is often confused with nautical design style, which is a much more kitschy version of seaside worship featuring bold beach stripes, anchors. It's just not the look. It's not the look. Coastal, on the other hand, is all about feeling the peaceful, relaxing vibes that you get being near the water. Tranquility, calm seascape colors, and simple modern styles make coastal feel like a vacation rental, even on a busy Tuesday. The coastal look itself is nothing new. Coastal-inspired interior design has been around for centuries, largely because it was the manner in which people decorated their waterfront and seaside homes. Longing for a seaside getaway, a vacation home on the waterfront, is a tale as old as time apparently. So if you dream of living in a lake house or oceanfront property, it's exciting to think that you can bring that vacation feeling into your everyday life. Coastal design originates from the Atlantic coast as wealthy New York families extended their stead to vacation homes in the Hamptons and other seaside suburbs. That Hamptons look can be a lot more opulent, though markedly more casual than the former living spaces of our Gilded Age American business magnates. As the coastal style spread across the United States, it's taken on a lot of different sort of iterations based on the region. In more traditional northeastern homes, you'll see a formal spin with hits of deep navy, dark burnished woods, and clean lines in furniture design. In the southern states, you may see lighter woods that are a grade from the saltwater and air exposure and weathered nautical antiques. In warmer weather areas like Florida or Louisiana, you'll find more tropical inspired coastal designs. And out west in California, there's a prevalent mixing of design styles like coastal modern or coastal transitional. And that doesn't even include the incredible range of coastal inspired designs all over the globe. Over time, coastal design has definitely become less literal, read nautical, and has, I would say, grown up a little bit more over time. It's more of a feeling, an overall interpretation based on the designer or homeowner, how they choose to work with seaside elements to create the aesthetic regardless of proximity to a coastal location. It's all about saying you can have that vacation feeling even if you can't plan a getaway. There are a few key elements that are pretty critical to this design style and adding them in just a little bit can give your home a hint of that seaside vibe. Starting with color palette. You can truly add a little bit of coastal into any home by using a coastal inspired color palette. You can never go wrong with neutrals, but if you're looking for something a little bit more fun, try using bright and airy colors with pops of navy or different hues of blues and greens. Think sea glass. The colors in coastal design style are drawn from the location Think water, sand, sun, clouds, salt, seaweed, coastline plants, stone, rock. When you go with a more natural, muddy, sort of dirty toned seascape colors, it's going to read more overall mature rather than going for the bright tones that read more pastel Easter Bunny. Generally speaking, in the coastal design style, you're going to want to part ways with bold, large prints like leopard, paisley, acat, florals. You can still enjoy a bit of pattern play, just keep it simple and limited on the color palette. Striped fabrics are always a great way to lean into that coastal look. 
Why in plank white oak floors are trending across many design styles in 2022. It's probably the most popular flooring choice out there among designers and influencers alike. I swear, it just seems to pop up everywhere and it works great within the coastal style. Rift sewn or quarter sewn white oak cabinets and furniture also work great in coastal styles because they're a little softer, a little bit different. If you're actually located on the water, if you are renovating or reimagining a home on the water, maybe building one from scratch, you might want to consider doing what's called an upside down floor plan. This means locating the bedroom suite on the lower level, keeping the kitchen, living room, and common areas upstairs to take full advantage of your water views while also protecting the structure from the harsh environments. You're really taking advantage of all the beautiful windows that you can have and seeing the view from every angle. Even if you're not near the coast, you can create some of that vibe with artwork. Don't confuse coastal with nautical though. No anchors, clip art of seashells, please. Don't go for anything too kitschy. Instead, source artwork that gives you that calming, peaceful, tranquil vibe, a little muddiness behind the color palette. Opt for relaxed seascapes in moody or light and bright, muted hues like warm sands, browns, soft sea glass tones, greens and blues, a little bit of gray. As you're finishing up your design, layering in those all important textiles, try to go with neutrals with a little bit of texture. The white slip covered sofa is a staple in the coastal design style, but that doesn't mean that's what you're limited to. There's so many different options from muted denim blues to seascape tones, warm honey browns or darker browns, as long as you're within that seascape color palette. Take a relaxed approach with easy care fabrics too, especially if you live close to the water. Make your life easy with washable slip covers or a stain treated fabrics to keep everything looking great, even with a busy family and pets. If you're wondering why all these coastal designers can have all these white sofas everywhere and kids and dogs, easy care fabrics, that's the reason. And you can find a lot of those things, especially at some of the big retailers. Even Pottery Barn has an easy care line of slip covers. You can just throw them in the washer. Just really search for that. Don't look for the style first. First look for items that are in the fabrics that you know are gonna work for your family. As far as design philosophy goes, keep it simple. We're going with relaxed, comfy, casual as you are searching for items. Does it feel calming, soothing, peaceful, tranquil? That's your primary objective with a coastal style. Always go for natural over kitschy every single time. It's going to give you that more mature vibe, a beautiful space that feels like an adult room that you can truly be proud of. You don't need to raid the aisle of $10, you know, clip art, nautical style pictures and hang those on the wall and think that's coastal. I really want to challenge you to look for things that are truly inspired by nature. Now let's talk inspiration. I've shown you a lot of great photos and I hope you're loving some of them. Don't forget to, you know, screenshot your favorites. However, I want to give you you a little bit of direction as far as where you can go to get a lot of juice with this style. The first one, of course, is Shay McGee. I know I brought her up in a few of these other design style videos. She's very good at mixing styles, so she kind of pops up in a lot of these different style videos. She's definitely known for transitional, again, that mixing of traditional and modern, but a lot of her designs can then take that third little styling option where it's like, it's still transitional, but it leans coastal, or it's still transitional, but leans industrial, or it's still transitional but leans farmhouse. She's done a lot of sort of different side steps but still within that transitional style zone and I really think coastal is definitely her vibe. She has that sort of California casualness with the white sofas but a little bit of natural texture, those muted muddy tones, the seaside palette, all of it. She is very good at that especially when you find her beautiful coastal designs. Next one of my favorite films, I know it's kind of an oldie but it's a goodie, The Holiday. So it's this fascinating, lovely, romantic comedy. I hope you love it. It's awesome. Let me know down in the comments if you're a lover like me. But The Holiday, Cameron Diaz's house in California, her LA home, where Kate Winslet spends most of the movie, is very much this sort of vibe. It's that California casual, a little bit coastal, very white sofas everywhere, very limited palette, clean, crisp, feels like a vacation rental. And honestly, any Nancy Myers film for that matter, they're all known for that Hamptons, Beach House, modern, California casual design style, approachable, comfortable, light and bright, filled with organic textures, a lot of layers. And hey, the holiday may have come out in 2006, but 
she still holds up. <laughs> And don't forget about Instagram accounts. There are so many great ones. If you just go to Instagram search bar and type in coastal interior design, there are so many great accounts that just truly love this style and go all in for it. Here's a few of my personal favorites. We've got Swank by Design, Serena and Lily, a beautiful account. They also have a store. We'll talk about them later when we talk about sources. The White Lighthouse has beautiful designs. Hamptons in High Heels, such a great account with such beautiful examples of Hampton style that I used in this video. Now let's make it achievable. Looking at all these Instagram accounts and movie homes can make it feel a little daunting. So the best thing about coastal style, in my opinion, is its ability to mix so seamlessly with so many other styles. Think about it. Traditional plus coastal. Modern plus coastal. Transitional plus coastal. There's so many ways to do this. You could even take a Japandi style room and infuse a little bit of that coastal palette. There are so many ways to do this. Grand Millennial. Coastal. You could add a little bit of print and color, design inspo from the water. So Ah, oh, it's a great idea. Be careful not to overstyle your space. Keep your horizontal surfaces clear as often as you can. It helps to create that calming, stress-free vibe of a vacation rental, everything that the coastal style is known for. Here are a few quick tips on design sources. If you're looking for the coastal style new, try searching Serena and Lily. They have so many beautiful coastal designs. My mom's ordered from them many times and every item is beautiful, but I will say it is a pretty high price point. We've also got Pottery Barn, although a little pricey, they do have fantastic sales and they usually always have some great coastal styling options. Next up, Crate and Barrel. They are definitely known for more modern style, but if if you search, especially in like the bedding and linens, you can find some absolutely stunning coastal palette items to style your space. And finally, My Mother Swears by Ethan Allen. She's been buying furniture and decor there for years and years. When you're shopping for items secondhand, make sure to look for white oak or light wood furniture and accessories. Remember a natural finish or a stripped down finish is always best. Furniture with clean lines, very simple structure, either in the more modern zone or traditional, depending on you know the vibe that you wanna go with. Sea glass is always a great addition, thinking about different ways that you can use it throughout your home. Also, really glass in any regard, glass vessels, that really beautiful textured glass that's got bubbles in it, tall, thick pillar candles, seascape artwork as we talked about earlier, seagrass baskets make great storage, and jute seagrass or natural fiber area rugs will really bring your conversation pieces together and give you a little bit more layered texture. Don't forget to shop your own collection. I'm a big believer that we all are buying maybe a little bit too much decor and we might be able to repurpose some of it when possible. So take a look and see if you already have some seascape artwork or maybe you can create some using art supplies that have been collecting dust in your home. Look for coastal color palette textiles, furniture pieces, area rugs, really anything that might help sell the color palette that you're going for. Sea glass items, again, you might have some already or just different glass pieces that are in that color family. White oak, light or rustic wood furniture would be great for this style. Linen drapes, bedding, pillows, really anything linen is a great coastal addition. It instantly makes it feel like you're on the waterfront. And don't forget vessels showing natural patina and age. Well, if you've reached this point in the video, you might be wondering if this is the style for you. And yes, if you love a seaside getaway, a beachfront rental, an oceanfront picture is your desktop screensaver at work, clearly this is your happy place and you should pursue it. Now you don't have to necessarily go with the coastal style just because you live in a waterfront property. Really, dependent on wherever you live, you should go with what makes you the most happy. But if you live in a waterfront property, this would be a natural choice, so you might consider it. Yes, if you love the idea of getting away from the hustle and bustle of a busy world and your calm cocoon of vacationness. Yes, if you want to pursue mixing design styles, you're inspired by the California coastal wave and you really want to sort of lean into that coastal palette. This might not be the style for you if you're leaning into the maximalism style that's trending right now. It's a lot of decor, a lot of styling. It's a beautiful look, but it is very different from coastal. I feel like coastal and maximalism are one of those sort of 
mm, magnets that don't quite may make a connection. Coastal also doesn't mix well with postmodern design, 1970s aesthetic. They really sort of fight each other, and I find that a lot of children of the 70s who hate the sort of look of their parents' homes gravitate towards a more sort of modern, refined version of Coastal because they are so wildly different from each other. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out so much. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what do you think of the Coastal style? Would you mix it with other styles? Are you pursuing it in your home? Or what are you wondering about this style? Maybe our design community can help you down in the comments. Don't go yet. Check out this design style video for more to ponder on your design journey. I'll see you over there. Happy decorating. Bye my friends.